Yeah, right. Reg, I hear what you're saying, but I got to tell you why I disagree for a number of reasons. I think that what you're saying is admirable, but I have to go back to what Dr. Clark said, that if, 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 if politics was the solution for us, we've had more black mayors, we've had more black city councilmen, we've had more black people in politics for a long time, and it has changed little next to nothing. So you can't use... You can't use what you can't. Reggie, are you there? Uh, anyway, anyway, um, what I was saying is, you can't use, brother Reggie. You can't use what what Chinese people have done, what Italians have done, and what Jews have done as an example for we for what we should do. Why? Because the one common denominator that the Chinese, the Italian, and the Irish, and all the rest, and the Jews had was that they did it on our backs. They, you understand what I'm saying? In other words, they were willing to do it in collusion one with the other. The Chinese people don't just get control of their community because they're Chinese or because they take over the political process. They get control of those communities because they are willing to agree to be, to be in collusion and in cahoots with the same people we are fighting against. So if you're telling us that our solution to our problem is to be in collusion and in cahoots with the same people who oppressed us, I got to reject that notion out of hat. Along with Dr. Clark, who you was with in life and death, and, and, and everybody else. That's just how I feel about it. Until you come up with a better plan, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, Sanetta, did you hear what I said? I think you might want to hear what I said. Well, I think you need to hear what I said. So that's just me disagreeing based on the, based on the, the wisdom that I heard from Dr. Clark. It was Dr. Clark who pointed out these black politicians. In fact, Amos Wilson has whole lectures dedicated to it. Why politics are not our salvation. Getting into a city and owning a city is politics. It's not even, and if you want to call it economics, that's fine too because economics and politics are inextricably linked. But you have to remember that in this society, some things are, certain things are already agreed upon. You understand what I'm saying? Certain things are agreed upon by those people who oppress us. So in a nutshell, before I leave, um, Sanetta, what I said was, I, I heard what Brother Reddy said, but I have to disagree on this fact, that Dr. John Henry Clark himself said that we've had more than enough black mayors, more than enough black city councilmen. All these black, black people up there sitting in sensitive positions ain't changed a damn thing for us. Look at Atlanta. Let's look at Atlanta as a perfect, a chocolate city. Let's go, well, no, not chocolate city, but Atlanta. Look at Atlanta for a minute. Everybody knows Atlanta became the black, black, blackity black city, right? Black mayor, black police chief, black city council people, black, 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 black. They all got nice homes, but they all faggots, drug addicts, strippers, and hoes. That's Atlanta. Okay? So what good was it that black people got a hold of something and didn't know what to do with it? Okay? So now, again, the point that I'm making is that not only did Dr. Clark say it, but Amos Wilson said it as well. That if politics was our salvation, we would have been out of this mess a long time ago.